Alright guys, we're right here, right here in Wellington, uh, day two, and we're at the Weta workshop. As you can see, they've made one of the most famous franchises in the world, which is Lord of the Rings, uh, which I've seen uh, when I was in college time. And, and this is a prime example of what they create. Uh, all these guys look magnificent. We've all seen them in our movies. Look at the expressions. Uh, wow, look at the eyes. I, I didn't see that before. Uh, so, and we go, we're going to go inside and see how they work, the number of hours they put in for us to see those magnificent shots. Alright, let's go in. So, uh, guys, we're going to prosthetics now. I think my ears. Well, first of all, welcome to the makeup room. Oh, we are going to turn you. you into a bit of an elf um, with little elf ears. Mm -hmm. um, and we're going to put a wig on you and just kind of complete wow. the look. And right. there we have a costume for you if you like to try on a few little pieces just to yeah. Yeah. finish it off at the end. Sounds yeah. good. Mm. And then we're just going to get a colour match at the end. <laughs> Pro. <laughs> That's great. Um, but for other things, we still... Hello. 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 How are you? Richard. Hi, sir. I'm oh, sorry. I'm just getting my ears done. Uh, obviously, very proud of the skills here and uh, mm -hmm. try and sell up what we can do in New Zealand to the rest of the world. So it's always great when it sticks and they come down. So yeah, I think Lord of the Rings opened up so many doors, and that's uh, yeah. For even when no. we were in. In India growing up, or when we saw that first film, we were just in awe. Uh, we changed the woodworking department into a museum. And now we get, you know, um, tw what, 20 people every half hour uh, come wow, through. A, and uh, it's been extraordinary. People, yeah. uh, and here's oh. a present for you. Yeah. Guys, guys back home, this is the original uh, Frodo ring. The bow and arrow. Not a sword, but nobody gets hurt. Stuff. European sword. Wow. Um, and that was the influence. Okay. So I've just come from a long schedule of ah. putting glue all over my face. That's Thank you. It's an honor to meet you. Small gift for you. Oh, wow. You couldn't possibly be in New Zealand without. Yeah, confusing. especially when you guys are winning. Yeah, yeah, well, <laughs> yeah, that's right. We just got to get all the way to the final and win <coughs> that's the That's perfect. Well, thanks for that. Go, no problems. <laughs> oh, wow. Yes, then I uh, went and met the Prime Minister. I think uh, the coolest uh, PM ever. Uh, even I think he, when, when I saw his interviews and stuff, he's just purely down to earth, very humble, very casual. Uh, we spoke about everything from, from rugby to uh, you know, Bollywood uh, to his trip to Mumbai. Um, he's met Bollywood actors before. Um, uh, he's intrigued by... He, he gave me uh, an inter interesting statistics that uh, uh, India came up in their, in their list for... Um, uh, for people with max maximum intrigue in New Zealand uh, as as regards to adventure sports. It's really cool because you know, like not many people, you know, not many Bollywood stars come here. Yeah. So it's you know, a really big yeah. thing, you know. Yeah. Honestly, I think he's so lucky because New Zealand's such a cool place. Um, there's a huge contrast between. India and New Zealand, they're both beautiful in their own ways. New Zealand has a lot to offer, um, nature-wise, and it's just so beautiful. The people are lovely here, and yeah, I think he'll really enjoy it. Uh, are we all in? Yeah! Sit down! Sit down! Oh, hello. Oh. Hello. Here we go. Sit down. Well, this is my first time in New Zealand. Uh, it's only day two. And so far it's been amazing. I think uh, there's so much for this country to offer. Uh, and uh, I've only experienced adventure sports uh, so far, great food, 
Uh, you have a wonderful outdoor landscape which you can enjoy. So I understand why you guys have left and come all the way here to stay. Uh, you know, I think that you you guys know how to use a bridge or a building better than us. Uh, <laughs> and you're just looking for an excuse to jump over things. Yeah. Hi, Sid. Hi, hi, Steve. How are you? Yeah, good. Because I want to get a tattoo done, so I'm looking for some kind of symbol which is meaningful. Yeah, huh? cool. We'll find Let's check it out. Let's try this. It sounds like strength, speed, success. Yeah. The wheel. All right, guys. Uh, so I'm right, right here with Steve, uh, and he's going to help me put this symbol which is called the, the Hiko. It's quite a classic. Like it's yeah. good to know what people like as you're drawing it, because then yeah. you can correct it and go, a big whale tail coming out of the sea. <laughs> Thank you, my friend, once again. Hope okay. I get a real tattoo. Uh, it's a good reference and appreciate it. It looks, I feel powerful already. Yeah, excellent. <laughs> it looks pretty cool. It looks, I feel like doing the haka. <laughs> yeah. <laughs>